Hey guys, what's up? Dan here. Welcome to yet another farming strategy. We're gonna take a look at the loot from 3000 Harbingers, boys. If you guys remember, last week I ran 2000 Harbingers, low investment setup 1000 and high investment setup another 1000 Harbingers. I decided to run another 1000 for the 3.23 Affliction League with an Atlas skill tree that is almost identical to the one that we were running in Tota. Harbingers are not on the map device this league and uh, we're gonna have to go into 7 gate to guarantee a lot of harbingers per map 8 8.3 harbingers per map on average it took me 120 maps to run another thousand harbinger boys i'm not sure what happened but i got so many memories so many fracture shots i got the three cortex maps boys i got so many good fractured items so although the profit per hour is really high but the numbers should be taken with a grain of salt. Let's take a quick look at the Atlas skill tree. Okay boys and this is the Atlas skill tree that I used to farm another 1000 Harbingers. We have a Shaper, Elder, Conqueror and Synthesis maps. We have some increased effect of modifiers in our non-unique maps. We have a Delirium Chance, we have a high contracts, we are using these block nodes and we are specced into the Wrath of the Cosmos Searing Exarch Altars. Since this is a Harbinger project, of course, we are fully specced into Harbingers and because Harbingers are not on the map device this league, we're gonna have to spec into 7 gate. In order for 7 gate to work, you need to allocate 6 gateways. So we have 2 here, we have 4 here, and we have 6 here. Afterwards, we're gonna take the 7 gate and we're gonna get the Harbinger craft on the map device. Let's take a quick look at the loot. Ok boys and this is the loot from another thousand harbingers high investment setup. Let's take a quick look at the setup first before we take a look at the loot. So we're gonna run city square maps, we're gonna scour them, we're gonna chisel them to 20% quality, we're gonna use an orb of alchemy and we're gonna go with two compasses, the compass for mysterious harbingers and the compass for a bodyguards. We're gonna add the Gidder Harbinger Scarab and we're also gonna add the three Sacrifice Fragments to give us a little bit more quantity per map. Now, two things that I am a little bit unsure of. Last league, from what I've heard, players were telling me that the quantity that you're rolling on the maps doesn't do anything for the Harbingers. So, although we are adding quantity on the maps, this is only for the rest of the loot that we're gonna get in our city square maps, not the loot that we're getting from the Harbingers. And although I did add this bodyguard compass, I haven't noticed an increase in the shards that I was getting and I don't think that the bodyguards are considered map bosses, so maybe skip this compass and only keep the mysterious harbinger compass. This is the loot that I managed to get from 120 city square maps, a thousand harbingers boys, so much loot. Last league we only got 35 fracturing shards and this league we managed to get 50. We have some exalts, we have some anuls, we have ancients, a lot of chaos swords because we're dropping a lot of chaos shards as we're farming these harbingers. We have some loot from the altars, a lot of cards, three voices. I'm gonna open all of these up in a future video, it's gonna be so much fun. And we have a lot of big drops, a lot of lucky drops. Memory of the Sacred Grove, Crystal Prisons, Survivor's Guild, two of them. We have a Cascading Fortunes and we also have some blueprints. One and a half, two divines each, fully revealed blueprints boys. And we also have three cortexes here, another three of really big drops. We also have uh, this uh, pair of gloves, which is around 7 to 10 divines right now. That fracture is really expensive. Two divines for this fracture, one divine, one divine, a hundred C tier two spell suppression fracture, one divine, a near perfect abysses. I don't know how this happened. I've never gotten an abysses. <laughs> so good in my you know 1000 2000 hours of playing poe so far but yes a near perfect abysses guys and we also have another one divine for this fracture right here we also have a few other fractured items but they're not that expensive only at around 30 to 40 c each so this league i got extremely unlucky with memories with the fractured items and also with cortexes and it seems that all my rng decided to come back in these final 120 maps this is probably gonna be the final major uh, farming uh, setup that we're gonna run in Affliction League. Quite a lot of loot that we managed to get in these 120 maps. Now let's take a quick look at the numbers. And uh, here are the numbers. One divine is 120 chaos, but please keep in mind it's been crashing a lot. 
in the past week it's a thursday as i'm recording this video and i'm probably not gonna have enough time to release this video before saturday so check the pin comment you're gonna get the link to the spreadsheet and you can check the prices for saturday so right now we have around 168 device guys from the current season so many of these divines are coming from the fracturing orbs fracturing shards we also have 24 divines from scarab essences and other load here maps in invitation 51 divines guys so much load from maps in invitations and 42 divines boys 43 divines of big drops absolutely insane i don't think i've ever managed to get so many lucky drops in 100 120 maps so yeah all the rng that i've been uh, missing this league <laughs> seems to have uh, come back to me in this uh, final batch of 120 maps now let's take a quick look at our investment we have around 26 divines for these 120 maps and our profit per hour is at around 24 to 27 divines profit per hour and with the lucky drops included we have anywhere between 29 and 32 divines profit per hour now please keep in mind I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to get 50 fracturing shards in 120 maps. If we're gonna take a look at the loot that we had in the previous league, we had 35 fracturing shards. And if you're also gonna take a look at the annuls and uh, at ancient orbs, they are similar, right? So around 120. And um, the fracturing shards are a lot more than we used to have. So let's try to adjust the numbers a little bit. We're gonna go down to 35 fracturing shards. So you're gonna be able to make uh, around 20 to 25 divines of profit per hour realistically with this uh, harbinger farming uh, strategy and rarely maybe if you're gonna get really lucky like I got here you're gonna get up to 30 divines of profit per hour. In my case we did manage to make 30 divines profit per hour in this batch of 120 maps but I'm gonna be honest this farming strategy is probably a 22 a 25 divines per hour one i was actually running these maps a little bit faster this league not four and a half minutes closer to four minutes per map that's because this league i am playing the arakalis fango cultist and in total i was playing the minion army necromancer which is a slightly slower build the clear speed is not as good as the arakalis fango cultist and um, overall you know quite a lot of loot guys right so much loot we have um, 30 000 kills <laughs> of uh, revenue we're getting close to one and a half two divines of profit per hour our maps are a bit long at four four and a half minutes but they're not extremely long like most of the setups that you've been seeing on youtube lately with affliction so this setup is not gonna burn you out it's really rewarding the profit per hour is looking really nice the profit per map is looking really nice and who knows guys if maybe you're gonna be a little bit luckier than me maybe you're gonna be able to hit even bigger numbers if you're gonna drop a mirror shard but please keep in mind from what i've heard um you're usually getting a mirror shard every 500 maps with the high investment setup so my plan is to run 10,000 harbingers we're gonna run 1,000 up to 3,000 per league and uh, we're either gonna stop at 10,000 harbingers or we're gonna stop when we get a mirror shard so far i have a 3,000 harbingers here no uh, mirror shard and this was the loot from another 1000 harbingers 3000 in total what are my overall thoughts on harbingers well at least in the 3.23 affliction league i can say that they're an amazing farming strategy at 20 to 25 divines profit per hour even without including any of the lucky drops you're still gonna be able to farm anywhere between 20 up to 25 divines profit per hour so i would say that harbingers are competitive with most farming strategies right now with the exception of a magic find of course we were making around 25 divines profit per hour with lights we were making around 20 to 25 with legions we're able to make 20 to 25 divines profit per hour with harbingers as well this league but please keep in mind if next league the fracturing orbs are gonna go down to let's say 10 divines you're not gonna be able to get a lot of profit per hour and uh, that's because these maps are long at four to four and a half minutes but this league i can definitely recommend harbingers go around at least 50 maps you're gonna get some really nice loot and who knows maybe you're gonna get that amazing mirror shot if you have any questions let me know in the comments below i will leave you with the map showcase for four and a half minutes a lot of monsters for map a lot of loot a lot of big drops a lot of action a lot of shots and i'll see you in the next one bye guys